hello everybody welcome to this course on uh, discrete time signal processing uh, as a part of this course uh, we will uh, cover eight sub modules uh, where initially we will deal with the mathematical preliminaries then we will try to understand the basics of signals and systems uh, since the course is focused on discrete time we will try to understand how from continuous time we will obtain discrete time signals. So, henceforth we need to understand sampling. In many cases we want to convert the continuous amplitude of the signal to discrete levels and henceforth we will study about quantization. We will study the effects of various sampling and quantization and how we can actually reconstruct the original signal back from these effects. Uh, once we have our discrete time signal, we will study about finite impulse response system. We will study in finite impulse response system their merits, demerits, advantages, disadvantages and so on. In the sixth module, we will study about multi rate signal processing, where we have discrete time signals at various sampled at various time rates and how we can process this together. We will study our linear prediction, which is widely used in various fields of engineering. In the seventh and eighth module, we will study about discrete Fourier transform, one of the most and it is faster implementation, the first Fourier transform, one of the most uh, phenomenal algorithm in the last century. And we will study a, in this course with a little bit idea of discrete time random process and its processing. This would lead to our future advanced level courses. So, the, the course basically is directed towards broadly to various disciplines not only electrical engineering, electronics engineering. People can benefit people working in the area of physics, maths, computer science, mechanical engineering civil engineering can also benefit from these courses, this the, the modules that have been prepared accordingly. Some of the applications of this discrete time signal processing would be for example, in the area of audio signal processing, where uh, we get an audio and we try to cancel various kinds of noise effects, echo effects and only extract the desired feature. In the area of speech signal processing where we try to extract the characteristics of the speaker, speaker recognition, expert system so on and so forth. In the area of image and video processing, image processing deals with mostly two dimension signals, video processing deals with images in various time frames. In the area of communication and signal processing, wireless communication, we receive signal over a channel, we try to do appropriate signal processing cancelling the effect of the channel. In the area of controls, discrete time controls, stability and various issues comes into picture, how do you implement the controller. In the area of radar signal processing, where we have antenna arrays, we try to receive signal through the antenna array and we try to extract the signal of interest, reject the clutter, reject the jammer and various unwanted signals. In the area of geology and seismology, in the area of modern days application like machine intelligence, feature extraction, image understanding, data mining. This will also be helpful to statisticians working in the area of time series analysis and understanding the effects of filtering on the data, various kinds of transforms on the data and so on and so forth. The ideas generated uh, via this would also be useful to people working in the area of compression. For example, audio compression, image compression, video compression and so on and so forth. The module that has been developed is also helpful to for people in the area of finance and economics, where you want to analyze data, predict, go for a future prediction do modeling of the data and noise reduction. 
So, as a part of this course, we will study about certain kinds of structures like data acquisition, filters, samplers, reconstruction, signal compressors and how do we implement this digital signal processing algorithms on disk digital signal processors. The methods that we will cover would mostly be various mathematical techniques based on linear algebra, calculus, vector spaces and mathematical transforms of the data. So, we will <coughs> this will be the first mathematical preliminaries that we will try to address. In the through at the at the end of the course, we will have something related to probability stochastic process, little bit of detection, estimation and optimization and broadly it will deal with how do we efficiently develop a numerical method to understand and process a discrete time signal. So, at the end of the course, whoever has taken this course would be competent enough to work in their respective area, apply the techniques whatever have been learned through this course and appropriately develop his or her own algorithm. It is very important as a part of this course to go through the assignments that will be uh, given in many times while mm, during the lecture some MATLAB based assignments would be discussed which it would be essential for you to go and practice at home. We would also uh, like to thank the help of the staff here who is uh, who has arranged this course and to the uh, assistant who would, uh, who would be helping me while during the portion of this course to um, create a proper online platform for interaction with you. Thank you very much.